Hey Capricorns, welcome to May 2018. How are you guys feeling? I know last month we were talking about Saturn going retrograde and Saturn as your ruling planet. Once it goes retrograde, unless you were born with Saturn retrograde, you're going to feel that energy like a ton of bricks. Like it's really just a uh, kind of like a pressure, a stop. And it just, it, it, it's not nice. It's not a nice feeling. You probably had um, some low days recently, um, just really heavy, intense energy, not feeling as, um, you know, upbeat. But the good thing about it is if you're working with the energy in a positive way, what you can do with that kind of non-upbeat energy is get more responsible because that's what Saturn is all about. It's a planet of responsibility and authority and, you know, and just really kind of is that father time. It's that uh, planet that says, if you're working hard, I'm going to reward you. So I hope you guys have been doing well with that energy. Um, what else is happening this month is the new moon in Taurus. So that's going to be an excellent time to really start to write down and manifest what you want to see um, coming into your world within the next six months. So when the full moon in Taurus comes, what you're thinking and what you're doing this month, you're going to start to see it coming about in six months time and developing over the next six months. So on May 15th, think about it, write about it, talk about it, whatever you want to do that has something related to your money, your possessions, your value, your self-esteem, and your beliefs. Um, and you can really start to see some positive changes there. If you're, if you're being really cognizant about what you're, what you're thinking about. I remember one new moon in Taurus, I was fighting about money and yeah, that didn't work out well. <laughs> that did not work out well. So May 15th, mark on your calendars to just stay positive, especially when it comes to what you're talking and thinking about. Um, what else is really affecting the Capricorns? Everything else is pretty uh, minuscule and doesn't really affect you guys. But the full moon in Sagittarius is on May 29th. And that is really going to change around your belief structures, your theories, your philosophies, and your need for excitement and adventure. So that full moon in Sagittarius, you're really going to want to kind of break free, break out of that shell. And it's going to be a little bit of a restriction because of Saturn going retrograde. Um, so just try to work with that energy and let go of those beliefs that Saturn retrograde are, are putting on you when it comes to your ability of mobility, okay? <laughs> So let's see, no cards have popped out yet, so I guess that could be a good thing. Nothing too dire that Capricorns need to get off their chest. This reading is for Capricorn, May 2018. Okay, so the two cards that popped out face down, so something that you haven't acknowledged yet. Fun, fearlessness, creativity, adventure, um, optimism, having fun, enjoying people's company, socializing dancing, fruition, um, you know, enjoying life, speaking your truth. I'm seeing, I'm seeing a, uh, what's it called? A conch or a con what it, it's whatever was in the Lord of flies where you couldn't speak unless you were holding this thing. Um, the conch or the con, you know what I'm talking about. Anyways, the reason why I'm bringing that up is because what you haven't faced or acknowledged yet is that you really need to speak your truth without giving, without being given permission. Okay. Have fun with it. Um, be self-expressive, have some, you know, act like you have liquid courage at all times. <laughs> Whenever you think about somebody drinking alcohol, just to kind of say what they need to say. And with that, you'll start to see some shifts happening in your life. So it is time to just get out there and enjoy yourself. It's going to feel really awkward forcing that um, and fighting against the Saturn retrograde energy that is saying, er, no, be responsible, get down to business, but you got to work hard and play hard. Okay. And that's going to create a huge shift for you guys. Capricorn, May 2018. Okay. Other card that popped out, as you can see, another two face down somebody taking a lot of your power away from you, taking up a lot of your thoughts, taking away your ability to change, your ability to feel free, um, which is all about the Capricorn energy right now, the full moon in Sagittarius. It's all about freedom seeking. 
and somebody in your life, it's almost like they're laughing about it because they're like, ha, huh. like they're either laughing about it or they don't even realize that they're laughing about it. And it's just really irritating to you because it feels like they're not acknowledging how much of your freedom and how much your sense of change they really are taking away from you. And this is creating some positivity as well. So they're really, not only are they taking away from you when it comes to your sense of change, but they're affecting your positive attitude and your optimism. So those are the, oops. Ooh, cat fight. No. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Anyways, back to the reading. <laughs> Sorry about that. So I wonder if that's symbolic. Is there somebody in your life that you guys have been fighting like cats and dogs, you know, and you really just want to have fun. You want to enjoy yourself. You want to be more creative and more optimistic when you want to see a shift happening in your life. But because of this person's energy and how much they've been taking up your thought process, they've been kind of killing your optimism a little bit, <laughs> fighting like cats and dogs. So that's what your subconscious wants you to know off the bat. Okay. That once you do start to have more fun, it will create that shift and the person who's been bugging you, it will end up being a positive thing in the end. The person who's been taking up a lot of your sense of freedom and your sense of change, it will end up being positive in the end. As long as you're putting up those proper walls of protection saying, nope, I'm not letting you affect my energy. I'm not letting you affect my growth and my optimism. That will be exactly what is needed. So that's where the Saturn retrograde energy will be positive because you'll be able to really manifest out exactly what you need in that relationship and in that partnership to say, stop, <laughs> like, this isn't right. This is not how I want to go about this. Okay. Capricorn. Okay. Another card popped out. Negative. Ooh. The devil card. So yeah, there's something going on within a relationship where you guys are really teetering between optimism and negativity, like really, really attached to this person in a negative way, feeling like you can't get away from them. Um, and it's just really holding you guys back. So as much as you want to move forward and have fun and create these positive shifts in your life, it's just that this relationship, this person, this whatever, that's really your thoughts about this situation um, have been affecting your positivity. So you have to have the sun and the devil come up and the wheel of fortune, the wheel card, um, really is showing a lot of intense energy this month. These are three of the most potent cards in the entire deck and for them to pop out. Yeah, it is time to, uh, to really focus on what you're putting out there. Who is hindering you? Who's the negative aspect? And how you can kind of free yourself from those binds. Because we only give people, um, we only give, we cue people how to treat us. We tell them how to treat us. Okay. Capricorn, May 2018. Okay. Let's see what's going on. Okay, so the theme of this reading, Capricorn, is all of these message that are, messages that are flying around. All this information that's coming from every which way. It's in your mind. It's in your thoughts. It's in your prayers. You know, it's very chaotic. It's all over the place. And you have been listening to it all. Like, it's just too much. It's way too much. And you've been trying to put your, your finger in every single aspect and be like, I need to hear this. I need to hear that. I need to hear this. And there's so many thoughts and actions and energies and words and conversations that, that, that are floating by. It's almost as much as clouds there are in the sky. You're trying to listen to every single one. It's getting very chaotic. It is getting like a lot of intense energy. Um, you're swaying back and forth, feeling very kind of pushed and pulled in each direction. Um, I'm seeing the, either the name Jim for some reason. Maybe the, maybe it's not the name Jim, but maybe it's like either gymnastics, like feeling like a balance beam, feeling like you kind of have to um, maneuver yourself. Or it could be like uh, gymnasium where you feel like you're kind of alone in this huge stadium and everybody's kind of, you know, <laughs> looking at what you're doing and you're kind of just like, uh. so I'm seeing Jim in some way. Um, could also be 
very strictly that a good way to get out some of these thoughts and get out this outlet is to go start some exercising, get back to the gym and kind of get that energy out because there's a lot going on here that is just too much and it's all hindering on your investments and what you've created, what you've been growing so far with the work that you've been doing, what you've been nurturing, what you, like I said, what you've created and manifest in, into this world and feeling like you kind of have to walk away now with your power because this new energy that came in really has hindered your ability to think positively, um, especially when it comes to those late night thoughts and those dreams and those, you know, um, the, the, unseen information so the deep down issues so as much as a situation um and a thought process can feel very blatantly obvious it is one of those situations where you really have to kind of dive deeper and dissect what is being said dissect what is uh being created and dissect what is going on around you because you're really giving a lot of your power away your emotional um vulnerability you're really giving a lot of that away and the people who are taking from you um, are already protected. It's like they don't even really need that. Uh, and they're not willing to show a full side of themselves to you. They're not actually willing to show that they're willing to do more work, but you still continue to give to them because they're not showing you how they are capable and also able of working. It's almost like, well, why would, why would I? Because Capricorn's taking care of me and Capricorn has it all figured out especially when it comes to some sort of marriage or commitment, common law, home, family, um, a queen of wands, somebody who's very focused on their power, very focused on their abundance, and very clever, very smart, and very also cunning as well. So you're manifesting out something within this partnership. Um, King of Pentacles is here. Somebody else who's very focused on finances as well. So queen and king of pentacles. Uh, probably a married couple or people in a committed relationship let's see and them doing their alone time because something is missing within their family and friends that is just not fair they want to have that emotional happiness but they're confused over the amount of responsibilities in order to feel stable because this change really affected their power and their energy especially when it comes to the past and what they fought for Okay, so they're broken hearted about this and they want to let go. They want to find their power and they want to make sure that everybody is okay and that their reputation is on point, but it's just too much and Capricorn, you're getting yourself involved with it and it's really, I shouldn't say it's not your place, but just make sure that your intentions are pure because the investments that you have made when you, when it comes to this queen and king of pentacles they kind of need to do it on their own. They kind of need to look inward on their own and do their own thing to figure it out. So it is time to kind of walk away with your power and not feel like you have to get so involved, okay? Because you've uncovered something when it comes to this relationship. You've uncovered something when it comes to this king and queen of pentacles and how they relate to you and how they relate to each other. And you fought for it for a long time, but now you're finally getting to a point where you're like, oh, so I think what's going on, what I'm seeing is there's this area in the States where when you stand, there's, I forget where it is, but when you stand in the middle, you're actually in four different States. Like you stand in the middle and you're actually in four different States. And that's where I think this Capricorn energy is manifesting in May, 2018 is where you're kind of right in the middle of these four situations these four people these four issues these four conflicts and that's where your mind is and where your ears are that's where you're always trying to hear what's going on north east east southwest what's going on because you have so many investments especially power investments in each four areas and you've created that but now you're realizing okay i need to just move on with my with my power while i can especially your emotional power because you've uncovered something in each area of those four states or situations or um, relationships or power struggles, whatever's going on in those four areas, okay? Obstacle and the aid, when it comes to this information you've uncovered, when it comes to these four specific areas, is a spiritual teacher. So either you being your own guru, you, you being your own spiritual teacher, or somebody else coming in 
Maybe it's something that you even just see on Facebook or Instagram or, you know, something that really resonates with you in a very profound way where you're like, oh, that totally applies to my situation. And it's a very spiritual information. It's a hidden knowledge that is going to free you. But it's the obstacle and the aid when it comes to this information that you've uncovered when it comes to these four situations and what you've understood within these four situations. So you'll keep an eye out. May 2018, some sort of message, some sort of teacher or hidden knowledge is going to come, come up and you're going to be like, Oh, and it's going to be what you needed to hear or see in order to set yourself free, in order to realize like, okay, <laughs> like enough is enough. It's going to be the key to your salvation because subconsciously you have Knight of Cups here. So a young water type sign with beautiful eyes, but I'm also seeing worry because I'm seeing like either nosebleeds and that is created by worry, like a lot of worry. Um, I'm also seeing this person is a fighter person's definitely a fighter um and the saying if the boot fits really is is like screaming at me if the boot fits so there's something about this person that even though they are emotional I think it's a Pisces energy because Pisces energy can sometimes be victimized and it's like well you kind of made your own bed you know so if the boot fits wear it when it comes to this person if that um makes any sense to you guys but that's who you are thinking about subconsciously, mainly. This is your main concern when it comes to these four areas of your life that you're starting to realize some deep hidden truths. And you're thinking that you've gained a lot of power when it comes to your home and family. You're thinking that you've really empowered yourself when it comes to home and family as well. Okay. You're doing well. You are doing very well, Capricorn. People aren't worried about you because there is something about your attitude and your demeanor that it's like you're very capable. Like the Capricorn energy is very competent, especially if you're Capricorn rising, you just give off this air of competence. So people just sort of, you know, they're like, yeah, Capricorn's doing it. They don't need help. <laughs> and people are seeing you as someone who's just walking on water, who, you know, nothing is really phasing you where deep down you've got all these emotions and deep down you're like, I just want to have some fun. I just want to let go of this negativity that's been going on. They don't even see that. They just see that smiling face you're putting on. They just see that optimism. They just see that brightness. They just see that warmth. And they just see, like I said, like you're walking on water. So that's how you're being viewed as right now. So if you're kind of wondering why people aren't coming around and being like, well, what's going on Capricorn? It's because they're seeing you as somebody who can very much take care of yourself, okay? Family and friends, they're like I said, they really see how much you've manifested your life and you've created your world that they wouldn't even want to impose. They wouldn't even want to kind of step over their boundaries and kind of come to you and maybe even disrespect you by saying, hey, do you need help? Because they just see how empowered you're feeling and how much you're thinking about your empowerment when it comes to home and family. Your hope and fear is this greed that's been going on. So when it comes to these four areas like we were talking about, I think that that spiritual um, teacher, that, that hidden message that comes in um, will be something that really makes you realize the, the ultimate greed that's been happening when it comes to these four situations and your relationship within those four situations. It's really coming down to power hoarding. Okay, that's what it really is stemming down to power hoarding within the family, power hoarding within the home. Um, but you hope for it and you fear it as well. So as much as you're seeing everybody else doing it, you kind of wish that you could hoard your power and you can kind of be a little bit greedy, but you also fear that as well because greed is, is it's quite the monster. It is quite the monster and it never ends. You know, it never really ends. Like I think once you tap into that greed and you just own it and you just kind of let it run you it can be, like I said, it can be quite the monster. And then you end up, you know, if you can't beat them, you join them. And that's what you're kind of fearful of right now. You kind of wish you could just say, you know what? No, but you, you have quite the fear there. So what's going to happen, Capricorn, is you're going to recognize that you've actually gained a lot of empowerment when it comes to the home and family. Your voice matters. You're speaking your truth without being 
given permission to say what you need to say, it matters 100%. With that knowledge, you're going to have a new frame of mind because you can be like, hmm, I have a microphone, you know, I'm in that auditorium, that gymnasium that is allowing me to kind of have a stage to say what I need to say. And people are listening to me. My family and friends are listening to me because I've been in the center of this four part whatever looking at every single situation I've had my ear to the ground in every situation I know what's going on with that you're going to feel incredibly supported you're gonna be like okay I should have spoke up earlier I should have said what I needed to say um and with that new frame of mind this new thinking that comes in based on your empowerment within the home and family you're gonna be able to do that with a sense of ease okay that's all I have for you Capricorns. I hope you guys have an amazing May. As always, if you would like a personalized reading, send me an email. My email is below. Uh, I include full astrology and numerology with every tarot reading so we can get a full picture of what's going on, how the planets are affecting you, where Saturn retrograde is affecting you, which area of your house, which area of your life, aka which house uh, is, is where Saturn is retrograding. Um, and what that means is which area of your life are you feeling the most pressure to be responsible and where you're really feeling the constraints of that Saturn energy. So love you guys so much and I will see you in June. Bye Capricorns.